I used to enjoy drawing uh, with a pencil. I, I did a lot of sketches and pencil art for... Until I hit grade 10 in high school, and then at some point I just magically lost my my artistic ability. It was weird. I I used to be able to draw and like sketch things, and I was just, it was just so free. And then at a certain point, I got to a a point where everything I drew was bad in my head. Like I would draw a single line and be like, "Nope, this is bad," and then I'd erase it. And I tried to try to draw one line again, and it got to a point like I I couldn't do it anymore. Like I I would cr be critical of every single line to the point where like I just can't draw anything on a page without me just immediately saying like this is bad. I just have to stop. And I hope you never get to that point. But yeah, actually, just like two weeks ago, uh, my wife and I tried spray paint art. And sort of that joy of creating something visual kind of came back to me. It was it was just this this really cool experience of like spray painting stars and planets, and I wasn't worried about the the techniques and making sure that every single line was exactly where it needed to be. I was just making stuff, and it was fun. And I I missed that. I think being able to do the spray paint art, and I'll show you uh, right after we finish this, like what I made. And yeah, like it's not like Van Gogh level or anything, but I enjoyed the process of making it, and I was proud of the, the end result. Yeah, right. Oh man, yeah. Dragon, Dragon, Drago the Ripper! Thank you so much for the follow. Totally appreciate that. But yeah, I think creativity is a really weird thing, and just like how how liberating it can be, and how stifling it can be, just because. Certain, yeah, certain mediums, like certain creative mediums, like writing for me, I can write forever. I, I, I've been, I have a website in thirdperson.com that I've been writing about video games in for over a decade now, and I have stuff to write all the time. And I have a feeling that I could keep going for the rest of my life writing that, that blog, and I will always have something to say. But, like, drawing, I can't do it. Like, I, at this point, like, I'm so in my own head that I've been completely stunted in my creativity. Just, oh, top ten! I know this board is a little messy, and we'll see what we can do to clean that up. You like doing sketch art? Great. Thank goodness I didn't get dance or music. I don't think I would survive. Yeah, some people are good at... I, there's another thing. I used to make um, hip-hop beats. I've made hundreds of beats, and there was this stretch where it was all really bad, and there was this stretch that I st of the music I still love to this day, and now when I set up in front of the software, like, I can't do it. I throw down some kicks and some hi-hats, and I'm just like, this is awful, throw it in the garbage, I can't do it anymore. And it's weird, like, I listen to music on the radio now, and, like, I'm like, I can make that. That's, that's no problem. I could do that. And not to say that I would be, like, the next Kanye West or... Um, Metro Boomin or anything like that, but yeah, so just certain sometimes you can get in your own head with your creativity that it just completely stops you from making stuff, and in certain mediums I've been able to avoid that. Oh, hold on, I wanted to show you some art. I wanted to show you some art, so Zorobi. Um, I was just saying, the spray paint art that I did, I framed it in the back, so this piece right here with the clouds and the moon in the sky... That I painted on spray paint uh, like two weeks ago, and yeah, that was the first time I've like made anything visual in decades, and it was so much fun. And it's not a perfect piece. I can point out all the nitpicky things that I messed up and would improve next time, but it just felt so good to make that thing, and I can't wait to do more of those. But there's there's a lot that goes into the spray paint art, such as. Having a well-ventilated room and having the colors for it and making sure the weather is good outside because I have to do this outside and make sure it's not too cold and not raining and so on and so forth. So, And am I alone in that? Is there any sort of like creative pursuits where you used to enjoy it but for some reason you just have this like mental block where you just can't do that thing anymore? 
And if you have, like, and if you've overcome it, how did you get around that? And Ian says, for me, that thing is long form writing. When I was in high school, I wrote two or three novel length texts, and now I don't have it in me for anything much longer than a blog post. I'm also not particularly fond of writing fiction now. Oh, man. Yeah, long form. Yeah, that's an, uh, sorry to hear that, Ian. Just like the that you used to love writing that length and now you can't like I'm I'm sure like part of that is just the logistics of writing long pieces, like writing thousands and thousands of words and <clears throat> that's a process and you have to go through a ton of drafts in order to get like that entire piece down to read just the way you want it to. And yeah, versus a blog post where you can write and complete a blog post in a couple of minutes. Like, and so, yes, I know some posts take hours, some take lots of drafts, like, oh, geez. It's not uncommon for me as a writer, like a blog post, to have 20, 30 drafts of a post. Sometimes there's the post that ends up being a thousand words that I've iterated on for, like, three months, and it takes 30, 30 drafts before I'm like, that's the one. But then there's also posts where I write a 1500 word post that comes out in under an hour. Um, right now we're just talking about kind of creativity and creative mental blocks. Is there any sort of like creative pursuit that you have pursued in the past that for some reason you just like can't find it in your head to keep going? Like, is there a time, like, maybe you enjoyed drawing, and for some reason, everything you draw now, you just, like, immediately shut down or just like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. And you just stopped. And yeah, for me, the big ones were drawing and music. I, I just bring it up because I, I don't have the answer for that. And I would love to know an answer for that. I think there are certain hobbies of mine that I'd love to pursue again. Like, yeah, I would love to go back to making hip-hop music beats if I just wasn't in my head saying every time I put something down, like, oh, that sound sucks. Oh, I... I don't... Yeah, I think with music in particular, the big thing is I'm not formally trained in music. I was... I was just kind of, like, listening to records and seeing, like, how notes progressed and... Just putting stuff down that I thought sounded good. And over time, I was able to develop some stuff that did. But at a certain point, I got to a level where what I wanted to create was above my my knowledge in music theory. And I, I kept using that as a... I kept punishing myself for that, of not knowing the mechanics of, hey, these are these chords and here are how you here's how you progress from here to here to here and yeah with drawing it was just uh I, as soon as I would draw a line it's I just immediately say like oh that's bad that's off and and stop 